Hey guys, and what is up? And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a great way how to make coins really fast in NBA Live Mobile. So, uh, this app, if you don't have it yet, is a great app. It's obviously really similar to Madden Mobile, except a basketball perspective. And it just came out a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. It was officially released. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be giving you some tips on what you should and shouldn't do in order to make coins. So the first kind of uh, category of making coins is going to be live events. So what is important about live events is you need to know what live events you need to do and what live events you shouldn't spend your stamina on. So let's get into this. For instance, out of these, the probably the worst one to do here is dunk drill. Don't waste your time on any of the drills because they take three stamina and give it an average amount of coins and XP and the reward is usually a bronze player which is almost worse than like 150 coins. So um, the second worst one is probably going to be the um, daily warm up which is, but it's not that bad. But the ones you want to do are the ones that s offer you a chance at an, like a player or give you collectibles with a chance of a player because if you do get a player a gold or even an elite then um, that's easy coins there by just by playing a live event as well you want to be doing domination as much as possible or um, whatever it's called supremacy as much as possible to grind out to that um, to to you know to get the the mobile master and uh, road of the riches is a decent one there's some like average ones but you definitely want to be doing the ones that um, give you a chance at a player and as well as supremacy and things like that, big live events like that. All right, guys. So the next big thing that you want to be doing to get coins is to play seasons. Seasons are a great way to make coins for multiple reasons. First off, they give you a pretty good um, coin rewards and XP rewards for every game played. And then as you progress, you get more and more coins and uh, things like that. As well, you have certain achievements that give you certain amount of coins which is always a good thing to just stack up coins and things like that. As well, you can get the collectibles that you can use for um, multiple like high-rated players down in the set. So definitely uh, grind out those seasons. And uh, yeah, just just you know, just play it as much as you can. It takes a, it takes a while. That's the only downfall. But you know, if you have a good team, you can just do auto play, grind out those seasons, get those coins. That's what that's what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so an another aspect is going to be sets. Now. now sets, if done right, can be, uh, can be a great way to make a lot, a lot of coins in this. Now, one thing that you can do to make coins is do quick sells. Now, quick sells are based on luck and uh, statistically most of the times you're not going to make any coins. But if you do end up with a, you know, a good quick sell, then you just came away with 30, 40, even 100k depending on how much you get. So now there's, if you guys have been playing NBA, there's this new Wheel of Players um, uh, set, and it gives you a random player. So you just do a silver trophy, and it gives you a random player. So I think this is a pretty good set to do, because unless you get a bronze player, you've pretty much made coins. So I'm going to do this guy, I'm going to do this set, and I'm just going to show you guys if it's worth it or if it's not, and you guys can see with me. So here I got a, a bronze, so that would be technically losing coins. I don't know, I I'm pretty sure, yeah, trophies are pretty expensive. So let's try it again. But like, if you do get a gold or an elite, you've just made like 20,000 to like 5,000 to like 40,000 of easy, easy coins. So let's try one more time and we get another bronze. So it seems like you're more likely to just get bronzes. So maybe that's one you want to go away stay away from but all these sets which are based on live events you definitely want to be trying to do all of those because those are in your favor and all these player sets you know they're not they're not good they're not bad they're just okay and yeah pretty much the best one to do is quick sell uh don't really trade any of your trophies and just if you have bronze trophies i suggest just selling them like that that's the best way to make coins and uh yeah Alright guys, so the final way to make coins in this game, which is the most effective way by far. So if you stuck around to this part, you're lucky because this is the best proven way to make coins in all of pretty much Madden Mobile, NBA, FIFA, and it's sniping. 
It doesn't really matter what you're sniping as long as you have a filter that works for you. For example, we're going to be doing gold players and for, whoa, for, or does it say, oh, okay, I didn't see the price, okay. Buy now, 4K, I I'm, I'm, I haven't played this in a couple of days, so I don't know what the prices are saying. Okay, so find the lowest uh, thing for gold players. So, for instance, I think it's 3K. Oh, my. Okay, 3K. Or 2.5, 2.5. Okay, so it seems like 2.5 is kind of like the place where all gold sell. So what you want to do is refresh in every five minutes. So, for instance, if it was... 542 and then they they uh they released a new round where it showed the numbers and the time remaining you have to wait for and then at 547 they'll release a new round in every five minutes like that so just pick a filter that works for you whether it's gold player for 2500 or elites for 40k or 30k or elite trophies find a filter that works for you and keep refreshing because every round that drops and every uh person that you pick up i might even try to do a round here it's 114 oh there's so many oh jabari parker no you got to be really quick with these you got to be really you got to be like lightning fast there we go i got one there we go and i see you just get an achievement so it's just easy money oh 1.5 you definitely want to get the ones for 1.5 come on come on you got to be really quick i'm just gonna i'm just gonna refresh again so yeah, this is a great way to make coins. You want to scroll to the end because sometimes they just they forget to get those, and there's some good deals hanging at the end. Mm, Two point five. J oh, Jr. Smith. There we go. So yeah, that's one of the best ways to make coins in this game is to snipe players and then sell them on for two point five, three k. So yeah, let me just check this uh Smith card. J.R. Smith. One second, Cavaliers. Yeah, you guys see, he's not selling. So I bought him for a 2.4. So if I check 3.5. Yeah, so I could sell him for 3K. And it's only like 500 coins profit. But you do this multiple times, like 10 times, 5,000 coins. And it's easy coins on top of coins. Alright guys, so these are my main tips to make coins in NBA Live Mobile. And you know, even if you come out of this with 40 to 50K, that's still a lot of money this early in the game and can get you some pretty nice players. So if you guys enjoyed this, smash, smash the thumbs up button. If you wanna see other videos like this or you have other ideas for videos, comment down in the comment section down below. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.